love you, bud. This is my beautiful wife. <laughs> She's got to live without me for two weeks. <laughs> See you, Ames. Love you, Ames. <laughs> See you, little buddy. Kind of harder to leave than I thought it would be. I figured I'd just be ready to go. And we're off. I will. Love you. Here we go. We are on our way to Colorado. Saturday, September 3rd. See you in the future. Ah, oh, so. That was a rougher goodbye than I expected. I've been with my beautiful wife for well, since 1986, we started dating, and this will be the first time we have been away from each other for more than five or six days since then. So, yeah, you get all excited on these trips, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's time to leave, and you kind of sit back for a minute. It's real, you know. Mm. I'm gonna miss my family. You got to carry on. Take your once in a lifetime trip and, and just uh, be excited to see him when you get back. So, real talk. <laughs> see you soon. State number one in the books, leaving Ohio, headed to Indiana. State number two. We made it to Illinois. Sun's out. All right, everybody. We are six and a half hours into driving, and we are coming up across the Mississippi River. Here's a look at the Mississippi. Another look over here. Nice little lighthouse out there. Welcome to Missouri. Well, it's midnight. I'm in Solomon, Kansas. And I'm beat. So I'm going to sleep. Eight hours more driving tomorrow. Before I can get on the bike and start this adventure for real. Good morning, Kansas. Day two of the 2022 Rocket Mountain Adventure. It is a beautiful morning. I don't know if you can see that sunrise back there. You see it in the mirror. Beautiful day so far. I got about four hours of sleep in the back seat of the truck. <clears throat> and uh, I'm ready to go. Looking at about one o'clock arriving in Eagle City to start the real route on the bike. And uh, looking forward to it. Kansas is beautiful. Welcome to Colorado. Here we are at Eagle County Airport. Quite a beautiful little airport. I have got the bike unloaded without dying. <clears throat> it's always fun with these big bikes and I'm just packing my stuff up and uh, I'm gonna get this puppy started. So uh, I'm beyond excited right now. <laughs> this has been a long time. Came out here in 2001 to visit a buddy and we hiked and, and took a four-wheel drive around a bunch and I always dreamt of coming back on a motorcycle. So finally I'm old enough and had enough money to do it. <laughs> so all you youngsters out there, just stick with it. You can make it. All right. We are off. Man, do I have too much stuff on. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
And we're off. Beautiful, balmy 85 degrees in Gypsum, Colorado. Now we're getting into some fun stuff. In the mountains. National Forest 412. Beautiful high walls. It says this road is impassable. <clears throat> no through traffic. Hopefully that doesn't mean motorcycles. It looks like just the kind of road I want to be on. We're not going far. We're just going to go find a campsite. I don't know, maybe 20 miles. Take it easy. Only about a half hour into the trip. Taking it real easy. went through a gate that said road is impassable so let's just see Whew. wasn't expecting that beautiful lake I'll tell you what that was a heck of a route to get to it I saw it about an hour ago <laughs> and I had to go all the way around the inside of the valley it's pretty wild when we did all that we're gonna ride on back here and check it out Hi, can you go down here and look at the lake or? Um, yeah, it's a $9 vehicle fee for any vehicle, um, but if you're just driving around, um, that's fine. Okay, I was just going to go take a couple pictures. I'm just riding around, first time here. All right, thanks. First pass, Crooked Creek. Cool camp places down there. 
Oof. Yeah, going along, it's real solid, and then all of a sudden you just hit this silt that's three or four inches deep. And if there's a rut under it, it just really grabs you. Especially someone who's real tired. <laughs> Having too much fun. My 20 miles in, find a camp spot turned into about 35 so far. Still going. Still early. It's only 3.30. Oh, man. Yeah. Crooked Creek Pass. Getting closer to those rocky looking mountains. Oh my goodness. Oh, they keep going. Well, this is my favorite spot so far. Switch back central. That'd have been a fun one to go up. It's funny how your day starts and nothing feels right because you're tired. Your stuff's not loaded on the bike right. You just kind of like, man, that bite off more than I can chew. And then you stop and take a break and you look at everything and you go, you big dummy. Just strap it on there better. My, my tail bag was too far forward and going down hills, I couldn't stand up and scoot back on the bike. So every time I hit a bump, it was trying to launch me Woo! over the handlebars. And finally, it is sweet. I also had too much stuff in my backpack and I hadn't ever ridden with my backpack and my tail bag because on my local routes <coughs> rides I don't take the, the tail bag I'm usually gone for a couple days tops uh, you know almost two weeks living out of the bags I needed more food and stuff like that but yeah the bike feels great now the views are just getting better and better nice breeze to clear the dust it's just really a once in a lifetime trip this is just already more than I imagined right before I turned the camera on I just had this thought I get to do this for the next couple weeks every day <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a day where I don't want to but I can't imagine it right now it does not feel like it it just seems like heaven on earth we are going to live in this moment and take in all this beautiful scenery that I may never get a chance to see again because I want to go see other parts of the world too so the next trip will be somewhere else the next trip will be somewhere else the next trip will be somewhere else which is why I decided to document it with the filming even if it's just for my kids and my wife my family to see that's fine it's all in good fun. But if you are watching, cool. Appreciate it. Hope you like it. Are the trees getting farther away as we move? Because that's freaking me out. Maybe I'm having some kind of elevation sickness thing happening. When you get big open spaces like that, and all of a sudden you start moving, I feel like the trees are moving farther away. Maybe the video picked that up. We'll see. They're still doing it. Maybe I should take a break. <laughs> All right. We might want to. What time is it? Four o'clock. Mountain, mountain time. I don't know. Should I find a camp now or go a little bit more? It's a nice elevation here. 
If I see a good spot. I can't believe I almost got a hotel tonight. Just rested. I would have missed all this. Actually, I would have missed stuff at the end of the trip when I run out of time. So everything at the very last day will be because I didn't stay in a hotel. Like a bum. Okay. Well, right after I'd said that, I didn't know if I wanted to camp or not. I found this sweet spot. I would say that it is for camping. It just rides back in here and dead ends. I was hoping there was a better view. Still pretty neat. Yeah. We're going to walk around check it out a little bit. So here we are. It is Sunday. 6 o'clock in Colorado. I'm eating some wonderful mixed vegetables. Rice and beans. Freeze dried. And I am set up. As you can see. My bike exploded into all this stuff. I got my MSR stove over there. Campfire going. My editing stuff. My tent. And me. And I just want to say one thing. It's Sunday. 6 o'clock. Yesterday morning. I went to work at the post office. In Bainbridge, Ohio. At 6 o'clock in the morning. I worked. I ran a full route. It was a pretty light day. I drove all day until midnight. I slept in some rest stop for maybe three, four hours. And then I drove the rest of the way here today. And then, I don't know, I got on the bike after getting the truck at the airport and I probably put 70, 70 miles of pretty dirt oriented riding. So I was in Ohio yesterday. I worked. Today I'm in Colorado and I rode 70 miles, almost all off road. So yesterday I worked, drove to Colorado. Today I rode in Colorado and that's a two day drive. So I don't know how the math works out, but it did. Anyway, I'm going to finish this food. And I'm probably going to be in bed at 7 o'clock because that's 9 o'clock my time. And I'm going to sleep forever because I didn't get any sleep last night. So that's the downside of driving <laughs> straight here. Anyway, you guys have a great evening and we'll catch you in the morning. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm so glad we have made it this far along in the video together. And I hope you uh, found some useful tips in there or some useful complaining. <laughs> If you have uh, some suggestions, leave them in the comments. And, uh, you know, if you want to like and subscribe, all that jazz, that'd be great too. I uh, can't wait to show you all of the uh, great footage I have from the Alpine Mountain Passes in Colorado to the Valley of the Gods in Utah. Just incredible scenery to my wipeout shortly thereafter the Valley of the Gods where I get trapped under the bike. Spoiler alert. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll see you on episode two. And thanks again for watching.